Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Welcome to Temple B'nai Israel. It's good to have everybody here this evening, both in the sanctuary and at home on the stream. It's a pleasure to welcome Shabbat together. Speaking of welcoming, I want to welcome Joyce Liu, who is with us here uh, as our soloist for this evening to lend her voice and her spirit to our services. We're really very happy and very grateful that we are all here together uh, to bring in Shabbat. Uh, we turn now to page 120 and 121 as we invite Sandy Sunter and Lori Clawson to come forward for candles and kiddish. Let's all rise together. <coughs> So may we, by our lives, give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light 
So may we, in our own day, be among those who kindle light. Bitsivanu the Hadlik Nair Shell Shabbat. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Pari HaGahaten Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav V'ratzav Ahanu V'shabbat Kodshu B'ahava U'vratzon in Hilanu Zikaron Lama Asevereshit Kihu Yom Tehi Kado D 138, 139 verses 1, 2, 5, and 9. On the final verse, we will rise to greet said Sabbath bride as we face the door. Lechel hander di likrat likrat kala b'ne p'ne shabbat nekabela. Lechav hader di likrat likrat kala b'ne p'ne shabbat nekabela. La 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 lechel hader di likrat likrat kala b'ne p'ne shabbat nekabela. Lechal hadodi likrat likrat kala b'nei p'nei shabbat negabala shamor v'zachor bedivu echad hishmianu el hamilchad adonai echad ushemo echad l'shel mitiferet belit la 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 lechal hadodi likrat likrat kala b'nei p'nei shabbat Shabbat 
Teach me, O oh God, a blessing, a prayer on the mystery of a withered leaf, on ripened fruit so fair, on the freedom to see, to sense, to breathe, to know, to hope, to despair. Together, teach my lips a blessing, a hymn of praise, as each morning and night you renew your days. Lest my day be today as the one before, lest routine set my ways. On the next page, the Baruch Hu are called to worship. be seated. On page 148, let's continue in the Hebrew. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher bidvaro ma'ariv aravim bechokma poteach she'arim uvitvuna mishane itim umachalif et hazmanim Umisader et ha kochavim, ve mishmerotehem barakia kirtsono. Bore yom velaila golel or mipne choshech, ve choshech mipne or. Uma avir yom ume vi laila, umav deal ben yom vein laila, adonai tsava ot shimo. El chai ve kayam tamid yim lo chalenu leolom voed. Baruch atah Adonai, Hama'ariv, Aravim. On page 151, in the middle of the page. Wisdom and wonder, passion and instruction, story and symbol. Together, all these things. And the more we devote ourselves to it, the more it grows and gives. What could be a truer token of your abiding love than this holiest of your works and the living language that gives it form? Baruch atah Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Please rise. We're going to start on page 677 with Open Up Our Eyes, which will lead to the Shema. Open up our eyes 
teach us how to live. Fill our hearts with joy and all the love you have to give. Gather us in peace as you lead us to your name. And we will know that you are one. Shema Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Shema Israel. Please be seated. We're on page 154 as we continue with Via Hafta. Via Hafta et Adonai Alachacha, the whole of Avacha Vucho Nafshacha, the whole of the Hayu Hadvarim Haele, Asher Nochi Mitzavacha. Hayom oliva vecha, Vishina taham liva necha, Vidir bartaha baham, Vishif teha beva teha, Uvlek teha va derek, Uvishok vecha uvkumecha, Ukshar tam leod alya decha, The hayu little tafot vein necha. Ufta tam, al mezuzot betecha, uvisharecha. Leman tis keru, vaasitem et kol mitzvotai, veitem kedoshim lelochechem. Ahani, Adonai elochechem, asher hotze titechem, me eretz mitzrayim, Liot lachem lelohim, ani Adonai elochechem, Adonai elochechem emet. Let's turn to page 157. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness and peace, Give us the courage to say, Adonai, there is one God in heaven and earth. Together, the high heavens declare your glory. May earth reveal your justice and love. From bondage in Egypt, we were delivered. At Sinai, we bound ourselves to your way. Inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, time and again we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages your vision of a world redeemed. Let us continue to work for the day when the nations will be one and at peace. Then shall we rejoice as Israel did, singing on the shores of the sea. On the next page, Micha Mocha. <laughs> like you Adonai who is like you No 
Turn now to page 160 as we continue with the prayer for divine protection as we ask God to shelter us, to protect us from all harm. Hashkivin. <laughs> On page 162, we rejoice uh, in the gift of Shabbat, which continue with Vishamru. Vishamru, Benei Israel, et Hashabat, Laasot et Hashabat, the dirt on the reed Vishamru, Benei Israel. Shemayim, the et ha'aretz 
165. Prayer invites God's presence to suffuse our spirits, God's will to prevail in our lives. Prayer may not bring water to parched fields, nor mend a broken bridge, nor rebuild a ruined city, but prayer can water an arid soul, mend a broken heart, rebuild a weakened will. Let's all rise together for the Amidah HaTefillah. We're on page 164, continuing through page 170 in the Hebrew. Please be seated. On top of page 173. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace together. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. 
and may this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Ata Adonai Mekadesh HaShabbat. On page 175. Ever present one, may we, your people Israel, be worthy in our deeds and our prayer. Wherever we live, wherever we seek you, in this land, in Zion restored, in all lands, you are our God whom alone we serve in reverence. Baruch Ata Adonai. Sheotcha levadcha beira naavod, and on page 177. When we behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and stars that you set in place, what are we humans that you are mindful of us, we mortals that you take note of us? You made us little less than divine, adorned us with glory and majesty. You gave us dominion over your handiwork, laying the world at our feet. <coughs> How majestic is your name throughout the earth. Baruch ata Adonai ha-tov shimcha lecha na'e lehodot. On the next page, 178, Shalom Rav. Shalom Rav al Israel. Shalom Rav al Israel and Chasim Leolam. silent prayer and reflection.
Let's turn to page 371. As we continue, as our thoughts turn to those in our community, those that we love, who are in need of healing, we take them all into our hearts at this moment, praying for comfort, for support, for relief, for recovery. Let's continue together with the words of Isha Berach, page 371. of at this time and wishing that prayer of healing that Misha Berach for Pat Adamson, Eric Adler, Raymond Douglas Alcorn, David Altner, Marty Bilo, Joe Brickman, Fran Brickman, Evan Bin, John Conway, Ann Cole, Richard Corwin, Mark Edelstein, Mickey Edelstein, Benjamin Edelstein, and Brian Edelstein, Danielle Heyman Feist, Eric Fisk, Sam Friedman, Carolyn Gold and Bob Gold, Linda Goldman, Jennifer Goose, Barbara Green, Buddy Green, Marvin Hollander, Stuart J, Harriet Kaplan, Lori Cattleman, Hank Corin, Wendy Sugarman Krasnoff, Dr. Sonia Linky, Michael Lynch, Madeline Leone, Elsa Mikosh, Dolores Munsick, Ruth Poehler, Mary John Resch, Jane Rifkin and Jess Rifkin, Don Rolander, Liesel Schick, Lee Siegel, Dr. Cindy Steinman, Pete Tanner, Fred Truax, and Michael Verub. Is there anyone thinking of somebody this evening for this prayer, yes? them all a refuah shlema. Shabbat shalom, everybody. 
So there are some weeks when rabbis are in their study early in the week thinking, what am I going to talk about <laughs> this week? You're like, what in the Torah is drawing to me? What's going on in the world that speaks to me this week? And this week was pretty intense. There's a lot of things going on. And so, yeah, it would be nice to come up here and talk about Israel. Yom Ha'atzmut was this week. Uh, really important day to celebrate and to rejoice in Israel. Really important time, I think, to speak about Israel. Also, that interesting time during the Jewish calendar between Passover and Shavuot, where every week we're counting the Omer, and every week we're supposed to study from Pirkei Avot, the ethics of the fathers, uh, to learn these great moral lessons. Still good to do, by the way, even if we're not doing it tonight. Very good to read Pirkei Avot. Uh, always chock full of really good teachings. And you know what month this is? It's Jewish American Heritage Month. Every May is Jewish American Heritage Month. It's a good time to think about different Jewish leaders throughout American history, the politicians, the uh, entertainers, you know, the people who are involved in industry. Good time to talk about that, too. And thank goodness we have a wonderful Torah portion this week, Kedoshim, which is like top five on the playlist. You know, it's like if you really wanted to have like which are the real, really great Torah portions when the rabbis could talk about all day, Kedoshim is one of them. So let's begin with Kedoshim, the first line of Kedoshim, Kedoshim Tihiyu, Ki Kadosh Ani Armai Elohechem. Really important line of Torah. I think I'll translate that to help everyone out, right? Sounds good. You shall be holy, God tells the people, for I, your God, am holy. One of my favorite lines, one of my favorite Torah portions. Not the only good one, but a pretty good one. And it speaks about this idea of holiness. What it means to be holy, we'll find out as we read the Torah portion. Mostly about ethical laws, how we treat each other. But the really important part I find in that first sentence is why? Why are we commanded to holiness? Because God is holy. And our lives are meant to be an imitation, in a way, of God. We can't be God. That's not happening. But we can try to be like God. And we are like God through the way we treat each other, through ethics and values. It's a progressive faith. Not politically, though, we'll get there in a minute. Uh, but it is certainly one that speaks about we're always supposed to be growing, always supposed to be reaching and striving ever higher. The ladder behind me, right? We're supposed to be climbing and reaching all the time for holiness, for justice, as we'll learn in our Torah portion, right? Because the Torah portion is about justice. Don't hold a grudge against people, treat people fairly. Love your neighbor. Love your neighbor as yourself. That's what it means to live a life of holiness. And do not oppress the stranger. Don't oppress the foreigner because we were strangers in the land of Egypt. Rung by rung, we're supposed to be climbing higher. Reaching for something. Reaching out for God. Reaching in for the best in us but always reaching, always aspiring for more, which makes this week feel so darn disheartening <laughs> and so darn troubling because for me, it does not feel like we are reaching for the highest. It does not feel like we are reaching for justice at this point in our society. And of course, I'm referring to the leak of the draft that's on every news story. And believe me, I'm not here to be your news source. I'm assuming you've all read, wherever you're reading from, the situation at hand. That we have a draft that if that version goes through, and there's no indication to think it's going to be otherwise, it's going to overturn Roe v. Wade. And so this is, in Jewish tradition, a problem. I'm going to preface this by saying that I'm not going to be up here to tell you what Judaism says on abortion because Judaism says a lot of things about abortion and a lot about reproductive choice, reproductive freedom, and about justice writ large. What I can say is that the reform movement, 
the conservative movement and the orthodox movement have all put out statements this week of concern to outrage, depending on which movement we are a part of at this point in time. So while, right, we can talk about the idea of Judaism having many interpretations, reproductive justice and abortion actually checks a lot of the boxes for the, our different denominations. Over 83% of Jews from all denominations in a recent poll said they would be very upset they are against the reversal of Roe v. Of Roe v. Wade. So Judaism has, again, a lot to say. And I thought about this week coming in with text studies and texts and texts and texts. And frankly, there's time for that, you know, at another and another later date if we want to sit down and really study because again to do that in 10 minutes wouldn't be doing justice to the topic so instead of coming with text i'm coming with acknowledgement that this is a tough time and it's a tough moment for many people and that this idea that abortion access can be so easily taken away that can be something that causes this harm to Anyone, you know, uh, really anyone who can become pregnant, and I say that very intentionally because we've been speaking this past week about how we frame it as a women's issue, and of course it is, but not only women can be pregnant because transgender males can become pregnant, uh, and non-binary people, gender non-conforming people can also become pregnant, and so that's why that choice of language is intentional. And to see so many people possibly being hurt is very un-Jewish. It is very stressful as somebody who is a rabbi for repro. Uh, I'm a rabbi for reproductive health. There's an organization, you know, and I, I'm part of that. Certainly, I think for many of us who all have our stories about this particular issue, it's difficult, whether we've gone through it ourselves, whether we have children who have, whether we have relatives, very difficult. And there's a lot of pain right now in our community. There's a lot of pain in our society right now. And that's really what I want to acknowledge today, that there is pain and that there is suffering and there's anger and there's fury and there's just this groundswell right now. And there are those who are unbothered, of course, because there are two sides to this issue. You know, I want to make that clear as well. But for the Jewish community in particular right now, it seems to be one that is on the forefront, because we have, over the past 50 plus years, been advocates and allies and wanting to make sure that anyone who feels that need, anyone who has, a, who, for health reasons, this is where, where we get into the most black and white area here, is that all movements of Judaism agree that if the mother's health is in danger, abortion is not only permitted, it's required in Judaism. And so I think that's where all three movements come in, that the mother's health does come first. And if God forbid something happens, you know, in the pregnancy, then it needs, there needs to be access. Abortion access is really the term that we use more than pro-choice, because it's not always about choice either. Sometimes it's a necessity. It's not about choice. And so to rob people of that access would go against Jewish values of pikuach nefesh, for the mother, for saving you know, the mother's life. And then we can delve into many different areas of, of conversation. And the more liberal side of Judaism would, of course, give a broader swath to what abortion access looks like in, in the Jewish tradition, what that means. But for it to be taken away is actually a violation of Judaism. And one can say it's also a violation of the Constitution, because Judaism doesn't have to always combine with evangelical Christianity. In fact, it rather it very rarely does. But to have a moral belief enforced upon everyone else, because the Jewish faith tradition, I says, allows abortion, permits abortion. So for, to then have a ban, uh, which might be coming, uh, forget the overturning of Roe v. Wade, but attempts to ban the procedure entirely, is problematic Jewishly. So. I'm going to fast forward a little bit and talk about what's next. Okay, what do we do? 
because what I'm hearing from people, the, the calls I'm getting, the emails I'm getting, the conversations I'm having, is a feeling of hopelessness and a feeling of helplessness. This train is coming, they tell me. What can we do? And my response is always the same. As of now, we should note nothing's happened. Nothing has changed, right? Because the decision hasn't been, been made yet officially. This is a draft. This is a leak, you know. So that's the first thing to think about. The second thing is now is the time to raise the voice. Now is the time to advocate. Now is the time to work together to speak to our representatives, speak to you know, other you know, organizations that do this work, and make our voice heard. Because if something does happen, you know, then there are remedies for that. There are conversations to be had and ways to organize, ways to be together. May 17th, on Tuesday, there's going to be a rally in Washington, D.C., put on by the National Council of Jewish Women. A great time to make one's voice heard, 9 o'clock in D.C. for those who want to take a flight uh, to D.C. But there are just many ways for us to be involved. And you've heard me say this, I think, from this Bema, but it always bears repeating. Despair is not Jewish. We are a people of hope. We are a people of tikva. We don't throw up our hands. We don't give up because God knows we've had 2,000 plus years where we could have said, eh, let's do something else with our time. This isn't great. <laughs> this isn't working out our way. But our people have fought. They have struggled. They have persevered through challenges. And they've been involved in fights this big, if not bigger, right? And they have not given up. We have not given up. And I think for me, that's my message this week where there's always going to be time to talk about every little issue. There's going to be time to delve into the intricacies of law and activism. But right now, and all of us, I think, so many of us are feeling that sense of grief and that sense of, of, of despair. We can feel those feelings. That's okay, but we can't surrender to them. We can't say, well, now there's nothing we can do. You know, it's all terrible, and, and that's it. That's not the re Jewish response. The Jewish response is now is the time to be involved. Now is the time to get active and to work with local community, statewide community, national, you know, organizations. Now is the time to speak up. Because when we speak up and make our voices heard, it really does make a difference. So I hope that all of us who feel called in this moment and feel, you know, sort of that, that need to get involved, please... Stand up. Make your voice heard. Because when we do that, hopefully we work towards a more just society. Shabbat Shalom. Let's all rise together. Page 586 for Alenu.
We turn now to page 594 in the middle of the page. It is a fearful thing to love what death can touch, a fearful thing to love, hope, dream to be, to be and owe to lose, a thing for fools this and a holy thing, a holy thing to love, for your laugh has lived in me, your laugh once lifted me, your word was gift to me. To remember this brings a painful joy. Tis a human thing, love, a holy thing, to love what death has touched. We think of our loved ones uh, who have passed away during this last year. Robert Pizzuti, Lily Singer, Shelley Foreman, Myron Pulfrey, Robert Sheldon, B.D. Rosenbaum Madnick, Shirley Botkin, Jack Moss, and Linda Fine, Sid Bolin, Joan Keller, Leo Weintraub, Nina Stegg, Janet White, Phyllis Krauss, Phyllis Allman, Sheila Buckwalter, Bob Mansfeld, Albert Gart, Barry Dabowski, Anne Blumenkrantz, Shirley Matler, and Richard Clausen. We're observing the yurt site this week. Uh, of Molly Andres, Norman Bachman, Jean Becker, Robert Belitsky, Stanley Richard Benjamin, Louis Bernstein, Sarah Bishop, Ron Boker, Tobias Bromberg, Sally Bronstein, Dolores Sepko, Edwina E. Enfinger, Nathan T. Enfinger, Ronald Enfinger, Jerry Fairstein, Marvin Ronald Feinstein, Betty H. Fine, Flora Finkelstone, Sheldon Ginsberg, Judy Gottenberg and Sam Gottenberg, Sylvia Sally Gottenberg, Martha G. Harris, Ruth Newman Hirsch, Nathaniel Isaacs, Louis Casper, Hyman Crystal, Howard S. Lawrence, Henry Lucan, Jean Morales, Abraham Novick, Rose Pandorf, Charlotte Porges, Anna Pugatsky, Harriet Robbins, Arthur Robinson, Max Cozy Rothfeld, Rothfield, Charles Schlossberg, Hartley Lee Schwartzberg, Edna Schwartzberg, Sandra Schwarsky, Sidney Schlossman, Becora Silverman, Edith Snyder, Jeanette Spray Regan, William Stewart, Seth Lewis Van Posnack, Martin Verbin, Jerome A. Waterman, Denny Herbert Weiss, Beverly Wertheimer, Solomon Human, Eric Zahm, and Lily Zahm. Is there anyone else observing a yurt site saying Kaddish for any reason? Let's rise together, 598, Kaddish Yatom, the mourner's Kaddish. Yit Kadal, Yit Kadash, Shemei Rabbah, Bialma Divra Cherute, Viam Lich Malchute, Bechayechon of Yomechon, Uvchaye de Chobet Israel, Bagala, Vizman Kariv, Imru Amen, Yehe Shemei Rabbah, Mivarach, Leolam, Lomay, Omaya. Yet Barach, for Yishta Bach, for Yet Paar, Viet Roman, Viet Nasse, for Yet Adar, Viet Ale, Viet Halal, Shame, the Kurdisha, Barichu, the Elam in Kolbirchata, Vishirata, Tushbechata, Venechemata, Da Amiran, Bialmavim, Rua, Main, Yehe, Shloma, Rabba, Min Shemaya, Vechaim, Alenu, Vial, Kol Yisrael, Vim, Rua, Main, O Se Shalom, Bim Romav. Hu ya se shalom, alenu vial kol Yisrael vimru, amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us, to Israel, and all of the world, that together we say amen. Please be seated. It's my pleasure to invite to come forward one of our temple co-presidents, Sandy Sunter, to come up for announcements. <laughs> New co-president, same stool. <laughs> same step. <laughs> Shabbat shalom, everybody. 
Shalom, Shabbat Shalom to everybody at home and welcome. I have welcome the faces that are familiar and welcome to some faces that are new to us. So please stay behind at our Oneg tonight, which is outdoors, so we can all get an opportunity to meet with one another. Um, what a couple of announcements. Um, tomorrow night is our poker tournament night. It is not too late. If you are interested in coming tomorrow night, you can still come. You can come and register at the door. The doors will be open at 6, and I believe they're going to start the first deal like at 6.45 after food. I think, believe that's the time. So please come. You'll see in the social hall the tables are set up. Everything is ready to go. There's lots of candy on the tables. So... <laughs> Sunday, May 15th, um, um, at Congregation Beth Shalom, they're going to be having a program led by our Israeli emissaries. It's a, to come and please join everyone, and we are included in this, to explore the multi-ethnic and multifaceted world of Israeli music. Uh, this is an Israeli music workshop. It's for everyone of all ages. They're going to have Israel, Israeli-style refreshments, so if you are interested, go to our, our e-blast, and it'll show you information how to register for that. And that will be down at Congregation Beth Shalom. But on Wednesday, May 18th at 3 p.m. here at TBI, we're going to have a program called Israel's Startup Nation. The emissaries are going to be talking with us about the great technical innovations that come out of Israel and how they are transforming our society and the way how we live every day. Again, it's, this is geared for adults. It sounds extremely exciting, Israeli refreshments. So please go to your e-blast for more information and hope that you all will come to, see, to hear that as well. For the future, on Memorial, Memorial Day weekend, we are hoping to be part of a program. Uh, we'll be looking for volunteers who will be going to Bay Pines um, Veterans uh, Cemetery, where we will be going and laying rocks at the um, headstone or the stones uh, at the vet, at the at Bay Pines for our Jewish members of our of our communities. We'll be having more information on that. And one last thing, July the twenty. Seven, uh, no, July 17th, Tampa Bay, TBI, well, no, what is it? Tampa Bay goes TBI, well, they're going to what? Go, thank you, thank you. <laughs> when it comes, that's what they're doing. So we have lower level seats where people, the, um, that's $40 a person, well, people will be getting a hat, and there is a block of 30 seats. So if you're interested, please also call the office if you're interested in going to a raise game. I didn't even know what to call it. You want me to tell you what the... What the... I think it's the Orioles, but I'm not sure. Oh, I was going to say, Wendy left. She probably would have known. I don't know. I'm sorry. But, but it'd be fun anyhow. Just... What? Oh. Any answer? I missed it. He'd want to know who were they playing. You said the Orioles. I think, yeah, I think it might be the Orioles. I want to thank King Rabbi tonight for your words. Um, certainly something that we are, have been talking about here in our office, and thank you for the service. Joyce, welcome, and thank you for your beautiful yes, music, um, and thank you for coming and joining us tonight. And thank you, Heather, for making sure that we're able to stream our services. And again, thank you to everybody who helps keep Te Temple B'nai Israel moving. I just wanted to share a little saying. Our goal should be to live a life in radical amazement. Get up in the morning and look at the world in a way that takes nothing for granted. Everything is phenomenal. Everything is incredible. Never treat life casually. To be spiritual is to be amazed. And words by Abraham Joshua Heschel. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Keep going. <laughs> no, that was it. Now I'm looking forward to uh, to tomorrow night to the uh, to the poker tournament. It's a really great time to schmooze with the rabbi because I'm going to lose so fast 
that I'll have nothing to do. So I'll be wandering around, I'm sure, <laughs> 20 minutes later. Uh, the, the Brotherhood loves it when I play because it's like it's really quick to get my money. Uh, but that being said, it's going to be really nice. And as Sandy had mentioned, those really great um, Israel engagement programs. This is through Federation and through, I forgot the larger body, uh, but it's called Israel at Your Doorstep. And they send like 20 year old Israelis, uh, you know, uh, from Israel. Uh, and they do workshops all throughout the country. And so we have our sort of like ones coming to Tampa. And so they have a really, uh, I think a lot of, it's always really exciting because they bring a lot of energy, uh, you know, these ambassadors. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, and all the other programs, of course, are great. And it's a good excuse to go to the ball game. You know, the, the seats are actually nicely discounted and you get a hat. So, you know, it's a good time to go to the ball game. Grab a kosher hot dog. I don't know if they're kosher or not. I don't know. I don't know who. I don't know who heckshers the Rays hot dogs. Uh, but you know, maybe somebody. Um, but I'm sure. No, <laughs> I'm getting a head shake. No, you know, don't get a hot dog. At the <laughs> it's fine. Um, okay. No, wonderful. And again, thank you, Joyce. Uh, once again, it's a pleasure. Uh, let's all rise together as we turn to page 657. Uh, and we'll do a little singing and we'll do a little mozi. Uh, first, let's mozi. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Amotzi Lechem in Haaretz Batei Avon <laughs> Good. Okay, we're going to close with Odevo Shalom Alenu, which means peace will surely come to us, to everyone. Salam for us and for the entire world. Here we go. Odevo Shalom Alenu, Odevo Shalom Alenu, Odevo Shalom Alenu, Veyakula. O devotion of my lane, O devotion of my lane, O devotion of my lane, Vea Kula, Salam, Alena Vea Kula, Salam, 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 Alena Vea Kula, Salam, 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 O devotion of my lane. O devotion of my lane, O devotion of my lane, they are cool. O devotion of my lane, O devotion of my lane, O devotion of my lane, they are cool. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Shabbat shalom. Let's all enjoy a nice oneg together. Very Shabbat nice. shalom. Shabbat shalom for everyone at home. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat 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 shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom.